Another concept we learn as EMTs is body surface area. With this, we're trying to determine how much of the body is burned. Now at the BLS level, this is not a huge concern, but when we get to the ALS level, we need to know this number so we can calculate how much fluid to give in our fluid resuscitation or burn shock. Probably the most um, familiar one to us is the rule of nines. And with this, we break the body up into 11 regions. Each one's about 9%. So the head is 9%. The chest is 9%. The abdomen's about 9%. The right arm is 9%, left arm is 9%, front of right leg is 9%, front of left leg is 9%, and then we have the upper back, the lower back, back of right leg, back of left leg. Now I will sometimes look at a leg and if it's a circumferential burn, call like the lower leg 9% if it's all the way around. Um, versus front and back, I can go top and bottom. Now, if you add that up, that's 11 times 9 is 99%, and we see the genitalia is the remaining 1%. Now, this changes for children because their heads are proportionally larger than their legs, and this picture doesn't show it exactly, um, and it varies a little bit from the, the or with the age of the child, but the head should be now closer to about 18%, and then we take away the remaining part from each leg, so they drop to about 13.5%. That's how I always remembered it, is with infants, the head's about 18%, the legs are um, now 13.5%. Another way that we can measure it is using the palm of the patient. Not your palm, but the palm of the patient. And that should be about 1% of the body. And then there's this London Router chart, which is very interesting. Uh, it gets really complicated. I have no good way to memorize this, so this is not one that I use in the field. But if you get to the emergency department where they have this chart, they might document it a little bit closer than what we do. And for our normal transports, think in 30 minutes or less, the difference between the rule of nines or the Palmer method and the London Router chart is not enough that it's going to really truly change what we're doing. But I want you to realize this London Router chart is there and is probably much more specific for what we do.